on today's episode, we're gonna be doing a two inch riser for the steering from original mod designs. We got some parts in. We got a shifter knob from RCM shift knobs. And we got Seco Racing reinforcement for the steering column. All parts are billet aluminum, really good quality from all manufacturers. So we're gonna start doing that. Start the build. Start this. We're gonna remove the plastic piece for the steering bars, the handlebars. Remove that. That gives you access to the four half inch bolts. So I'm using my Stanley socket set and a wrench half inch to remove everything. Inside the pipe, it wouldn't fit. The Seco Racing shaft fits perfectly, uh, like 100%. Inside the shaft here from the Can Am dealer, there was a burr inside of a piece of like metal. So we just used the die grinder with a rock bit on it. And I just like grounded it inside a little bit. Now. The Seco Racing shaft fits perfectly, 100%. With that in, we could put our original mod design two inch riser on top. So it's gonna be like that, sitting. We're gonna use the bolts supplied with the original mods design two inch riser kit. We're gonna use those. We're gonna put some thread lock and put everything together, screw everything down together. We got the half inch hardware kit that came with the original Mod Designs two inch riser. We're gonna put some thread lock on the bolts. Take the riser. Put it down, put the bolt underneath to sandwich the whole thing together. Screw it down by hand. Do all the bolts by hand first, and then come back with a half inch wrench and tighten everything down. Okay, the bolts are all tightened down. Now it's solid one piece. It helps if you take apart the bike, all the plastics that are covering here, so it gives you better access to the bolts itself underneath. Now I'm gonna put the bars in. You get little shims in the kit of the original mod designs. So you just put them in there. Put the bars on top, like this. 
shit like that, we go in. Now you can put the case on top. Once you put the top piece on the bars, take your bolts that come with the kit, thread lock again on the bolts. And these bolts take a number six Allen key. And just tighten everything down. That's it. And the bars are so solid, even, evenly flat. All the bolts are tight. It's a beautiful piece, both from original mod designs and from Seco Racing. Both pieces are like high quality aluminum, laser cut. Even the hardware is all stainless steel, so it's not gonna rust on you. Like down the road, like the next year or two years time frame. Okay, let's start putting everything back together and we're gonna do the shift knob on the bike. That's it. Last thing to do on the bike, we have a RCM shift knobs shifter. It's a one piece billet aluminum laser cut Can-Am, so high quality piece. Comes with a little, little carrying case, like a bag that it came with. So that's pretty awesome. And an extra bolt to tighten it down on the shaft. So now we're gonna start removing the old one. You need a half inch ratchet. I'm gonna put a little bit of thread lock on it and I'm gonna reuse the stock uh, bolt here, the nut. I'm gonna reuse that so you don't really have to replace it. I'm just gonna put some thread lock and it'll be good enough. So just take the shifter knob, put it on place, in place. Screw it down. And that's it. Easy to do to install the shift knob. It's a little bit bigger, thinner wide if you're wearing gloves. It's easier to grip on than a stock plastic one. And it gives a little cool factor because it's aluminum and it's engraved with Can-Am. So it looks cool.